Good morning. Welcome to the second day of the Balmoral Show. I'm Andrew Hogley, I'm the Chief Executive of Ulster Wool and we're here supporting the shearing competition. Shearing, absolutely vital for animal welfare and we're seeing the best guys in the world competing today. Some of them will be at the World Championships in three or four weeks time over in Scotland. Now, a great example seeing how wool's harvested and it's not a waste product, it's a really valuable product. The challenge is to get the trade to recognise that, but the best way to do that is by products made from British wool, by products made from Northern Irish wool. And that's your duvet, your carpet, your mattress. That's how you can support sheep farmers and help them get a better value for their product. I've judged for shearing and wool handling. Um, there's an awful lot of us involved in this uh, judging caper as uh, shearers are judged from the start to the finish. So we judge the sheep out the, while they're shearing the sheep, how they do their job, and then there's judges out when they finish shearing the sheep, judge the shore and the sheep for the quality of job that they've done. And the wool handling is something similar where the handler has to um, deal with the fleece in a certain way and we are watching for imperfections and maybe not um, cleaning the fleece off nicely you know from dirty bits of wool and vegetation on it and how they present the wool then to go for sale in Bradford. My name's Libby Clark, I'm commentator here in the cattle section of Balmoral and we're getting ready to judge the commercial cattle. It's always one of the highlights of the week. There's a really, really good entry from right across Ireland this week. We're starting very soon and you can already feel the tension building up in the shed and there will be a really packed ringside around this uh, come showtime. We're early off the mark with the commercial judging after having a busy day of purebred cattle yesterday. We're delighted now to have an excellent turnout of commercial cattle for you. We have five classes and additional championships for you to watch, so stay with us ringside. your hands together please for our first prize winner of the day. Very happy lady receiving a red rosette there. Well done to all. Yeah, so I'm here um, from Suffolk to judge the uh, dairy goats at the Balmoral Show. Um, from uh, adult uh, milkers uh, right the way through to 
uh, kids. I think there are about four or five different breeds here. And as you can see, they're coming in now. Uh, this is for the final uh, lineup of the uh, milk category. So I'm now going to put them into ascending uh, order of merit. My name is Nikki Hines. We're at the Balmoral Show, and I came with my boat, my British Ad Bank, came first for a bass. So I'm pretty happy with that. Well, I come every year, and it, it's good fun being out, meeting public, and showing our animals off. Well, there was a milking competition yesterday, and uh, the one that was reserved had the highest yield, and uh, she got best milker there just a few minutes ago and we've got reserve milker and we've got second reserve milker. Uh, Johnny Campbell. I'm uh, from Thurso up in Scotland. I'm here to judge the North Country Achievement classes at the Balmoral Show here today. Ah, it's a really lovely show, yeah. I'm impressed with it. Valleys for being showed in the Sherman class. Just finished doing the championship, a great show of sheep. Very popular breed, not maybe as popular now as they used to be, but had some tremendous sheep here today. And the rain's just, just appeared, which has held off all morning, which is brilliant. My first time here at Beaumont Show, and it's very, very impressive. Brilliant day. So this morning we have been presenting prizes in the Connemara ridden classes and this afternoon we'll be in the, the, the rings for the Connemara working hunter classes. North Down Morkley sponsors these classes with rosettes and prizes um, for the children's ponies and uh, it's great fun, some beautiful, beautiful ponies and very well turned out and some very happy children. Judges be looking for ponies' way of going, their behaviour in the ring, um, how well behaved they have been for the children and how manageable they are, um, and how they've been turned out and presented. So in the, in the Connemara Ridden Pony class, we ensure that every competitor gets a rosette just to encourage children and the younger generation coming along, so as to encourage them to come back and have another go next year.
great day here at Balmoral for the second day of the Royal Ulster Show. It's been an absolutely stunning day here today and thankfully the weather has played ball. Quality class is here and it's great to see the crowds coming here to Balmoral and enjoying the sunshine. So let's hope we see you here over the weekend. It's great to see especially the Irish draft horses, the way they have really come back. And we had a great performance class here this morning and it's great to see the winners here in the class with us this afternoon. Today we're at the Young Farmers Competition the Tractor Handling here. So there's a course to do these John Deere's, the deals, and uh, if it heats, I suppose, each county to get in, and there's six counties, so there's six teams taking part today in the competition. A very competitive competition, it always does be, and it was good crack, and a lot of cheering and shouting. It was a good day out for the young farmers, so it is. Balmore Show supporting Clinchy Young Farmers in the tug of war and they're going to win. We're at the Balmore Show here. Uh, just finished the football there, didn't get through to the finals, but we're on here now to tug of war with uh, A and B team in for Bally Alter Young Farmers. So uh, hopefully we'll do well, and the girls team. So we'll have, so three teams are entered for tug of war. Yeah. 